Hi, Contractor John here again today, and uh, thought I'd do some more viewer questions today. You get a lot of them, so I thought I'd take some time and answer some of them. First question comes from Christine. We are in the middle, or I'm sorry, we're at the beginning stages of adding more space to our home. We have three bids for the work. Bid number one is 52000 Bid number two is 49500 and the third bid is 35000 which is close to the top of our budget. How would you handle this kind of situation? Well, Christine, I would be scared of the $35,000 budget. That's that's number one. When they're that far apart, there's something wrong. And you, you have three bids, and if they're within 5% of each other, then take the center one and go 5%, then, then that's something that I'd be comfortable with. I mean, realistically speaking, materials are, are the same price if they're all pricing the same materials. If it's a bigger company, they may get a little bigger, bitter break on pricing and stuff, but not that much. Uh, there's other things that factor into it, like the business model and, and those kind of things, how they run the company. But it's not going to be that much. We're talking about a 15% difference in price on a $50,000 job that there's something there's something drastically wrong here uh the thing that i would ask you to do is take a step back go to remodeling magazine cost versus value survey which i've talked about before and look and see what the project should be costing you define the scope and then the region and then see what it should be costing you and i will bet you'll find it it's in that fifty thousand dollar range now you say your the thirty five thousand uh, dollar bid was near the top of your budget, so maybe it's you can't afford the scope of this project, and and that's reality, and and that's okay too. There may be something you can do to work with one of those other two contractors to bring the cost of the project down a little bit. If it's okay with the contractor and with the village, maybe you could have them finish do the structure, finish the whole outside of everything, and leave the inside with just the electrical done, no insulation, no drywall, no flooring, and obviously no painting, trim, and that. And you and your husband, little, little sweat equity, you guys could uh, finish the project. And maybe that's the way you could get the footprint and the scope and, and bring the budget price down so you guys could afford it. But I would absolutely tell you stay away from the $35,000 bid. Uh, that's it's that's not going to turn out good. So, so hope that helps you. Next question is from Tom. I'm having my bathroom model. The contractor is asking me for specifications. I don't have time for shopping. Can't I just tell him to use his judgment? Doesn't he get paid to know that kind of stuff? Well, Tom, I think you might be confusing specifications with selections. Okay, there are two different items here. Specifications for a job are. Uh, things that define the scope, like if you're doing a bathroom remodel, you would say, uh, I want to replace the flooring, I'm going to leave the tub, but I want a new surround, I want a new toilet, new medicine cabinet, light bar. Those are the types of things that define the scope, and those are more or less specifications. I want a 24-inch vanity with a framed flush mount mirror, no medicine cabinet, 24-inch light bar. I want a nickel-plated single-handle faucet. Those are the types of things that will help the contractor set the scope. And once he has the scope set, then he can bid it more effectively. Another thing you might want to do, too, again, is go to the cost versus value survey, Remodeling Magazine's cost versus value survey, and look at what that project should cost. And knowing what it should cost, that will help you decide if your budget is able to withstand the scope of this project too so so selections now selections would be like i want a masco 24 inch uh aspen brown vanity with a cultured marble top in rose and cranberry and i want a moan banberry nickel plated single handle faucet that would be a selection okay versus a specification Okay, I hope that brings a little bit of clarity to it, Tom. So, uh, you really, you need to do your homework. You need to tell the contractor what you need so he can bid it effectively and reasonably. Okay, hope that helps. Uh, last question for today is from Jim and Carol. We are finishing our basement and are looking for an inexpensive product to use for the ceiling. Drop ceilings are so expensive and a lot of work. Do you have any suggestions? Jim and Carol, I most certainly do. I've used this method 
quite a few times and homeowners have always loved it and I thought it turned out great. I finish the walls and do everything like you're going to do, like you're going to finish them. And then I spray paint the ceiling, everything on the ceiling, all the floor joists, the water pipes, the heat ducts, everything. I spray it flat black, flat black. It makes it like disappear and just go away. And it doesn't have that, what the drop ceiling does, that that barrier that here's the ceiling it kind of opens it up and it gives you a sense of it being bigger and larger and taller than it really is and it really does disappear it causes the ceiling to disappear you have things going on in the walls and the furniture and the flooring and everything the eyes don't tend to roll up that high and here's a little trick at the top edge of your walls the drywall and the walls they always come out a little irregular Take a piece of crown molding, like inch and a half, inch three quarter crown molding, and put that, install that all the way around the perimeter. And that'll help hide that irregularity in the drywall. And you paint it the same color as the walls, and it'll give you a nice finished edge to go up against that ceiling. So that guaranteed, that works. And I, I've used it quite a few times, and it always does come out really, really nice. So, so this is Contractor John. If you have any comments, please leave them below. Same thing with questions. If you have a question, something you'd like me to address here in the question and answer series, just put the question in below. I'll take a look at it and do my best to get you an answer. Uh, don't forget to subscribe on your way out. Hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it. This is Contractor John saying, have a blessed day.